the Solomon Island chain is now on complete lockdown. Our forces continue to patrol the waters, denying Allied access to the New Georgia Sound. Most enemy contacts found in the area are submarines, which are promptly hunted down and destroyed. Victory will soon be ours. The ragtag American resistance on the island of Guadalcanal is almost crushed. Shortly after, our airfield will reach full completion. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our Imperial Japanese Navy campaign in War on the Sea. The current situation is as follows. This group just resupplied Guadalcanal. As you can see, the Americans are just hanging on. We should capture the island in a matter of days. We are in the process of landing these troops and supplies on this island here. However, we have an enemy submarine in the way, which Shiguri has now encountered. So we will begin that momentarily. We also sent Vals to strike this other submarine and Hunter Killer Group 3 is going to move up and try to sink that guy if these Vals fail. That is the current plan. Anyway, let's go ahead and begin combat. One thing I did want to discuss um, the recent patch, which has been pushed to the beta build of this game, has a new win condition. That win condition is if you sink 100 ships, you win the scenario. And considering we go to enemy losses, we have pretty much doubled that. Uh, I expect once that patch is pushed out, this campaign will end. And frankly, I am okay with that. I mean, it is pretty obvious we have won at this point. So I'm just going to keep playing till that patch comes out and hopefully we can secure Guadalcanal completely by that time. Anyway, let's go ahead and begin and start. It's just the one destroyer, I believe. Yeah, just the one destroyer in the area. So let's slow her down to maybe five for, yeah, even slower, just three knots and listen for this enemy sub. We're not going to use active sonar just yet. Let's set up our depth charges. We are going to just drop three patterns at 10 second intervals and wait for the, there we go, we picked her up. Okay, let's uh, turn towards her and she has launched. Copy that, increase speed to, yeah, let's bring up 15 knots and change course, hard to starboard. We can see the enemy sub there at periscope depth. Let's target her as well. Let's, how far away are we? Two kilometers away. Okay, we will keep using our hydrophones in that case. I think we have turned out of the way of the enemy torpedoes, so we are good there. Oh, maybe not. They, are they turning? No, they're heading straight that way. All right, we have evaded those, perfect. All right. Good stuff as an enemy Gato class. Solutions at 99%. Is this one damaged at all? New contact aircraft. Okay, Kingfisher. Well, that makes things interesting. Where did that come from? There's probably another surface fleet in the area. We know the Americans have one battleship left. I believe they have, at least I believe they have one, if uh, memory serves. Um, let's go down here, South Dakota. Yeah, the Alabama. That's the last one left. All right, we're gonna use some time compression here and move up behind this enemy sub. Okay, triple A's opening up. Might as well. I doubt we're gonna be able to hit it, unfortunately. It's rather far away. Oh, she's turning towards us though. Okay. All right. I'm interested, we can use time compression now uh, while firing here. That is new. It looks like she is smoking. Maybe we'll be able to down this aircraft. Rudder amidships here. It's gonna fly out. That's fine. We obviously have a higher priority target right in front of us. Just want to move right up her stern. I keep using our hydrophones. We're making 15 knots. So just course like so and try to intercept. The enemy submarine is still operating at periscope depth. 
and she does have those four stern torpedo tubes, which could be problematic. However, we are, as 400 meters away, we're still in arming distance of the Mark 14. Oh, well, if she shoots, she shoots. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, our midships. Okay, she has gone deep by the looks of it. 19 meters. Okay, more time compression. All right, let's just steady up, make sure we are, yep, yeah, looking pretty good. Right alongside. And we should be able to roll, we lost contact. You can see there, all right, roll charges, fire. And we will watch the enemy sub now. It's like that first pattern will drop aft of the sub, but the second one should be golden. Most certainly the third one will be. Yeah, just dropped aft of it. That's fine. This one looks good. It looks like it's going to hit the engine room. Stern torpedo room. Yep, that got her. Got that charring there. So that's a hit. It normally only takes one to at least cripple the sub and force them to emergency blow. That one looks good. Come on, little guy. Blow. Kidding me? You just want to keep dropping? All right, that got her. All right. Hard to port. I'll swing around and try to reestablish contact on the enemy sub. There we go, she blew ballast. Um, what's our speed? Reduce speed down to three knots. I guess she's not making a whole lot of noise. Her screws are not turning. I'm sure they're clanking around doing a lot of damage control down there though. Okay, there she is. She's breaking the surface now. Manual fire. Police, there we go. There we go, hit right on the conning tower. Explosion, I had both mounts open up that time. We'll just have our stern mount. Okay, and there we go. All right, hold fire. Make sure you hold fire as well. That's one enemy sub sunk. All right, let's get out of here. That should pave the way for our cargo ships, which are unescorted, a little risky, um, to go in and resupply our troops. These valves are going to move right here. The sub is stationary. Go to tactical and start. There she is. Pretty darn close. Let's turn towards her. Target her. Begin your attack. Okay, she is fighting it out. Firing her deck gun. Normally the subs dive now, but... Uh, okay, I think this one is rigging for dive. <laughs> I realized that was a terrible idea. Okay, our valves are racing in. Come on, get some good bomb hits here, boys. God damn it, I pressed the wrong button. Well, we missed. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I would just press that. Oh, that's silly. Well, yeah, that's... uh. Okay, maybe these... These other valves still have bombs, so... Uh, it looks like Flight Leader got a little trigger happy. <laughs> okay, here we go. The other three dropped their bombs. And they all missed. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, Alright, they're gonna head back, rearm, and we'll try to sink this guy. All right, here we go. We do have another fight on our hands. Four destroyers, three light cruisers, and one battleship. Just kind of what I anticipated here. We're going to have this task force head north, and this other task force is heading east to try to cut them off. Time to scramble aircraft. Launch aircraft valves, 12 of them. Let's go get them. And let's see how far away is this? 200, yeah, we definitely have the range. These valves are moving into the sub. Ignore that. I don't care. Predict five. Shokaku. Go ahead and just launch some Kates, I suppose. All right. They're going in. We're going to go to tactical here. Start. And the sub is going to be submerged because of this group is in the area, unfortunately. 
We'll see. Maybe the sub will launch on these guys and we can hunt them down. I'm not sure if the sub is going to be in an ambush position. Let's go ahead. No, we can just leave. All right. Well, we'll have to hunt that sub another time. Do I want this task force to move south? No, I don't. Our other task force just rearmed with Yamato and Musashi, and they're heading down here to try to uh, cause them trouble. Unfortunately, I think they will be missing this fight. So you know what? These Vals are going to change course and head this way. Okay, land-based Vals from Guadalcanal are over the target. Let's go to tactical and try to get them. Start. And there they are. That is quite the enemy force. And, of course, the Alabama is already opening up. Let's target this Cleveland. You know, no, 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 no. Target the Alabama. Engage. Unfortunately, we don't have Yamato or Musashi in the area. So, <laughs> this is going to be a job for the B team. Certainly make things a little interesting. Lots of anti-air. Okay. And they're diving down. Here we go. This is not going to go well for these land-based valves. Oh boy, bombs away. Alright, get out of here. And they... Two hits, that's it. Pathetic. Alright, two valves down. One's getting out of here. Bob and weave, bud. Wow, that was not a good strike at all. Truly. I think this Val, hopefully it can get out of here. We'll see. <laughs> oh, if his buddies were just uh, killed. We started a f one lone fire, I guess. Let's go ahead and retreat, leave combat. 36 seconds. I don't think we actually have any subs in the area. If we did, we'd move them over here. Our surface fleet have really been the uh, units protecting uh, Guadalcanal. Oh my goodness. Bob and weave. Nine seconds, eight. All right, there we go. Yep, yeah, minor damage on the Alabama. Well, we have our other strike coming in. That should inflict a bit more damage. Our aircraft are in the area. Let's begin the strike. Go to tactical. And start. There we go. And what we want to do, we want to take this guy out ASAP. Um, and we are so close. All right, two flights are going to engage the Alabama. One flight will hit the, uh, I believe it's a Cleveland. Two flights of Kate's. And one flight of Kate's will hit the Cleveland. Actually, yeah. That's what we'll do. All right, they're going to have to spiral down, unfortunately. We are super damn close. Probably going to start taking anti-aircraft fire. Our valves are just going to go on in. Actually, we are not being shot at yet. Just start spiraling. Just start turning. No need to engage. We'll wait for the Kate's. they're not going to open fire, then we'll time it. We're attacking the entire formation from one side. I don't want our Kates to have to go past this line of anti-aircraft defenses to drop their torpedoes on the, our battleship. That's uh, the thought here anyway. All right, once they begin their attack run, we'll order our valves. I'm thinking maybe I should split my valves up a little bit more. Hit maybe two of these cruisers, two of these light cruisers. There we go, they're opening fire now. All right. Okay, they are beginning their attack. Let's pause and issue orders. Valves, engage that one. You guys engage that one. And these valves, you know what? Fuck it, just, just hit the battleship. Sink that guy. All right, they're all going in. This timing looks pretty good, all things considered. 
The Alabama is beginning evasive maneuvers, however. Nothing we can't handle. Kate's going in. It looks like the Vals are drawing most of the enemy flak. Look at that. All right, here we go. Bombs away. Beautiful strike, beautiful. Here comes another one. All right, torpedoes away. Another solid hit there. All right, torpedoes are in the water. Get out of there, Kates. Okay, solid hits on the light cruiser as well. Our last flight of Kates are drop their torpedoes, multiple hits. There we go. Oh, jeez, this poor, poor. There we go. That was a great strike, all things considered. We still have some other torpedoes running. They may have a chance of hitting something else. Let's look at the damage. An entire flight of Kates was wiped out and one Val. Uh, not bad. I think this guy's going down as well. You can see our other torpedoes on the map, and yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to hit anything else, unfortunately. What a strike. What a strike. It definitely makes the uh, the surface engagement seem a little more palatable. <laughs> uh, I just like the odds to be overwhelmingly in my favor. I think that's a, a smart um, approach, <laughs> quite frankly. All right, we're going to see if this guy's going to sink. Let's see the report. Yeah, critical damage, critical flooding. I think she is done for. I think she is done for. Well, there goes the last American battleship in the theater. Let's go ahead and leave the battle. Confirm, there we go, sunk, 35,000 tons. And it looks like this Cleveland has heavy damage and minor flooding. Gained 40 command points for that. Okay, these guys are going to RTB and we will see what this enemy task force does next. We can't launch any more aircraft, unfortunately. I'm kind of hoping we can kind of stall until Task Force 1 gets down in the area. How long is it going to take them? 31 hours. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, more likely, uh, Task Force 22 and Task Force 7 are going to be the ones that engage. We're going to have these two rendezvous up here near Guadalcanal, and then they'll go into battle to get together. I think that'll improve our odds of survival here. Task Force 35 has encountered something here. We actually just unloaded our supply. Let's begin this encounter and start. It's, yep, I already see it. It's, our, it's an enemy sub. Okay, well, let's turn towards it. And, and well, we're already going 23 knots, probably a bit too fast. Haruna, just head off this way, full speed, please. We go, already picked up the enemy sub. You head over here, my friend. You head this way, full speed, get out of here. Yumikaze, full speed, go that way. Thank you very much, rudder midships. Okay, she launched, this enemy sub launched. Target, depth charges, nine seconds. Sounds good. She only launched two torpedoes. Very interesting, actually. Normally they just fire off full spreads. Maybe this particular sub was out of torpedoes. Hey, that was a thick spread, too. Let's make sure no one's really in danger. Yeah, I think we're good. 
I think we are good here. Okay. Well, in that case, make sure you guys are targeting it. It is a, another Gato class. I think there's only one Tambor left uh, in the theater. Uh, if we go here to the recognition manual, we should be able to see Tambor. Yeah, so US, yeah, it looks like they have two left in their roster, so. Still have a ton of Gatos, however. All right, let's reduce speed down to nine knots and turn into the target. Hopefully we can sink her. Let's increase speed just a little bit. 13 knots. And line up. Once again, there's kind of a formula to this thing, although she is wiggling around just a little bit here. May complicate things slightly. Well, it certainly makes things interesting, I suppose. Yeah, she's in a slight turn to port. Go. Brought our midships. Yeah. Okay, I think we are good to, uh, to start rolling. Yeah, screw it. Let's let's just drop. Four seconds apart. Fire. She is pretty deep, however. Fire, please. There we go. All right, depth charges just rolled, I think. Oh, there they are. There we go. This pattern looks okay. There we go, got her. And we have another pattern coming down. Not sure if they're close enough to cause any damage. Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe, maybe so, yeah. Oh, and now we wait. She is now dead in the water. Okay, reduce speed down to five knots and turn around. I'll try to get another depth charge run here. The enemy submarine has blown ballast and she is about to come up. We are going to fire at her with our deck guns. All right, manual fire. Let her have it. And we're right here. That's, <laughs> oh brother. She's firing star shells, that's uh, Probably not the smartest idea there. But yeah, she's done for. There we go. Uh, that's another sub. Suck, hold fire, and retreat. All right, here we go. Task Force 7 has encountered them. Four destroyers and three light cruisers. Task Force 22 is also in the area. Let's begin and start. Looks like just this formation is engaging, however. So that's fine. This is a formation I'd prefer to have engage. Let's uh, scan. Do we see them out there? I got nothing on the horizon. We can retreat in zero seconds. Maybe we're just, they're not in visual range. Okay, we will leave combat and try to re-engage. Well, our two task forces are patrolling this area up here. Last we saw, the enemy cruiser force was heading this way towards Guadalcanal. However, it seems they are no longer here. I'm going to have Task Force 22 head back to the port area of Guadalcanal just to protect it. Um, but it is very possible they turned around at this point, but we will see. I will keep you all updated of any developments. We have another sub in the area. Shiguri has encountered it, so we are going to begin attacking it. Um, just increase speed to 13 knots, get your depth charges all set up. We have 27, three patterns, seven, nine seconds apart, why not? Reestablish, okay, just reestablish contact on the enemy sub. It seems like once we sped up, we lost contact, that's fine. We are closing in on it, hopefully we can sink this thing. These things, uh, seem to be infesting these waters. <laughs>
And there we go, another enemy submarine sunk. Okay, another enemy submarine in the area. We are about to just blow this thing out of the water really quickly. Right our midships. All right, let's take a look at our submersible friend. That charges are all set up and ready to go. Let's wait till our stern is pretty much over the sub's bow, like so. All right, give it a little bit more. All right, fire. Let him have it. There we go. Did not mean to be using time compression there. There we go. That's a good hit right there. That should... That sub's done for. <laughs> Alright, and you know what? Maybe we can have number two go in? I don't know. The sub's out of commission. She's probably going to blow ballast like they always do. And then we will... Nope, that's it. She's sinking. Perfect. Alright, that's another one going down. Leave combat. Well, it is currently 5 o'clock in the morning and we are good to resume air operations. That cruiser group that was last seen heading towards Guadalcanal obviously turned around. Gotta say, I don't blame them. Probably the smart thing to do, all things considered. However, we are going to launch all of our scout planes and hunt them down. Hopefully, we will be able to find them. But that will do it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I will see you all on the next one.